Hey everyone, it's Gianna Lum at Convincing Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news on crypto and blockchain technology. Today, I have a real quick update for the Cardano community and really anybody interested in blockchain governance, whether you're a developer or the everyday ADA holder. As always, this video is not an endorsement of any project on Cardano in any way. Please do your own research before investing in anything. All right, let's dive into the news today. Here's a tweet. Emergo, the commercial arm of the Corral blockchain tweeted, building a self-sufficient and community-focused governance system for Cardano is a complex matter requiring various technical and non-technical aspects to work together. To test and refine the system, Cardano uses a specialized testing environment called SancoNet. This test network aims to comprehensively implement the SIP 1694 specifications in a simulation environment. SancoNet serves as the backbone for Cardano's future on-chain governance, where community members can experiment and learn. It bridges the gap between Cardano's technical backbone and its community, allowing everyone to work together towards building self-governed systems. Essentially, SancoNet is meant to be a testbed network for Cardano's governance features. So what exactly is SancoNet? SancoNet is a test network environment for Cardano governance features. That's under SIP1694. It's a collaborative effort between Cardano's off-chain and on-chain aspects to achieve community-run governance. SPOs, those are state pool operators, DREPs, delegated representatives, the Constitutional Committee, and ADA holders can test Cardano's developing governance model at a technical level. SancoNet allows anyone to test rules on Cardano whether you have a technical background or not. SancoNet lets people and organizations in the Cardano community test different rules crucial for shaping Cardano's future governance and the evolution of the Voltaire era. These roles include test ADA holders, SPOs, DREPs, and developers. The team behind SancoNet has created a portal at sancogov.tools for those interested in simulating the governance of Cardano but don't have the technical expertise to connect to SancoNet. The portal offers rules for ADA holders, DREPs, and for creating governance actions. The SancoNet test network is being rolled out in phases that each increase functionalities to the Corral ecosystem. Phases one through four are live on the SancoNet test network. The rest are expected to happen shortly and be ready for the broader governance discussions. Take a look at SancoNet's development phases in the image below. So these are the six phases. Phase one, SancoNet open to users. Phase two, registrations open to DREPs. Phase three, expand submissions and governance actions. Phase four, introduces the constitutional committee. Phase five, governance actions dictate protocol parameter updates. And phase six, governance actions initiate a hard fork. You can learn more about SancoNet at emergo.io slash press news, and you can follow them at emergo.io and intersect MBO on X to get more news and updates on Cardano governance. Cardano is leading the way right now for innovative solutions for blockchain governance, and I'm really glad that they're making this whole process accessible for everybody. You don't need to be a developer, and you don't need any fancy tech skills to get involved. I hope this information was helpful for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you see any crypto scams in the comments or in the ads, please report them. There's so many fake airdrops, fake giveaways, and people pretending to be financial advisors. And we've got to make sure everybody in the crypto community remains safe. That's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends and get this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.